So today we're going to be looking at stilted hedges and pleached hedges and uh, this is a, a pleached hornbeam hedge I did uh, in about the year 2000 quite a while ago now and the way to make this one I made uh, a metal frame using 10 millimeter metal I made some arches and MIG welded and tack welded them together uh, just to give a framework and then planted the hornbeam and then as it grew we trained it in so you can have the sort of pleached hedge the stilted hedge and they make great sort of curious little avenues or sometimes to divide areas and uh, we're going to have a look at how to install a pleached hedge using a hornbeam and there's a couple of different ways you can do it uh, we did one at uh, Gardeners World Live for a garden journey to hope for the MS Society and uh, Monty Don actually opened the show from this particular garden and in that one we used uh, metal posts with wires between which is a good system there's lots of different systems you can use but we'll have a look at this other way of doing it in the video using bamboo canes so what we've got here we've got these sort of hornbeam carpinus spectulus and they're pleached so we take them sideways and we've got to plant this now so the thing to do is obviously have the hole prepared and if you look at the base of the plant you can see that you've got a root ball with a wire cage and so what we want to do is to remove the wire cage I mean sometimes people can leave them and, and uh, the, the Hessian will break down but it's a bit risky because the uh, the roots could coil round and uh, that would kill the tree so we want to make sure that we're kind of getting rid of this cage and the trees are you know a lot of money they're about 150 pounds plus uh, the AT and then we'll we'll just get it out of there but we've got to be we don't want it to be out for too long and the big problem with these trees is that when you get them they've got stake but there's a lot of sail at the top there's a lot potentially that could catch the wind so that what I've got to do is put the tree in but put a stake at the back of it so it, it will stop that happening so that's what we're going to try and do we just got to find a way through the roots so we're going to just sort of pop that in and you can see there's not a lot of roots on there at all <laughs> that's really quite uh, so I'm just going to move that back a little bit we'll just get this around it like that so we just want this to go down it's got to be at the soil mark so what I've done is I've knocked a stake in because obviously this could get pulled over and although it's got a cane at the back that cane isn't going to stop it falling over so I've put a stake at the back and what I'm going to do is cable tie this to this not the actual tree itself but the cane and then that will keep that upright we've obviously got to check to make sure it's vertical could use a spirit level on the sides and I've got to check that it's right that way um, but we're looking pretty good so I'm gonna just pop a little bit of, of nice soil around the base of it and just give that a bit of a, a, bit of a shake to get the soil around it and uh, what we'll do then is once we've got it round a little bit is to firm that in so what I'm doing is just putting a, a cable tie on that just to hold that nice and firm and give that a little bit of support until the roots have really rooted in well I'm just going to get a few more cable ties for that hopefully number one and we can get that all finished off in a minute so with these espalier sort of uh, pleached hornbeam is you want to get them even and uh, tied together so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop that there I'm going to use a cable tie I'm just making sure that the ribbed bit is facing down so that when I pop it through there that's going to tighten up okay and catch so I'm just going to pull that tight if it'll just get yeah, it's going that and we'll just put that round the back out the way so that will help stop that one and then I'm going to do the same over here again just checking that I've got the parallel obviously you can measure it as well just so this one is a bit higher 
So we have got that problem, but what I'm going to do is we'll pop this one around there and pop that through just to get that nice and tight, as tight as we can, just pull that through a little bit more and back. So that's got that on there. Possibly going to need a longer piece, I think, on the bit of bamboo. But we'll see. Get that one tight. That's a bit better, actually. And if I can do the same on this one here, that should hold it. So what I'm trying to do here is you can see that we're going to have an espalier shoot coming across. This one is still making up its mind and there's a bit of training to do. But I've got to, uh, as you can see, I've started putting these sort of laterals in. And uh, what I want to do is just to put this in ready so that when the branch starts to go, you've got something to tie it in with. So I'm just going to pop the cable tie around there. And you can do a crisscross on it if you want to, just to make it strong. And I'm just going to put this on to hold it. And if you want to get a bit more kind of security and more, make this a little bit more stable, you can just drop one going on the opposite direction to make like a diagonal. And that now should hold pretty strong. And I'm just going to put one more on a bit higher up to match the other side so that when we create the sort of espaliers, if you like, they'll be the same throughout. And there's going to be a bit of pruning when it comes out in leaf and a bit of training, but at least you've got the framework in place. And when you're doing a, a sort of an Edwardian garden, a bit like a sort of a Hidcut or uh, a Sissinghurst, and you've got the Lutians bench, what we try to do here, because the back had got a summer house, uh, that looks a bit more sort of minimalist, so I wanted to create this air space to be a bit more kind of Edwardian looking. So by putting this up, it's created a compartment, and uh, so once you've created your compartment, it has that look now of an enclosed area, and it all links to the Edwardian bench, and you can put your little herbaceous plants around the base, and that, that links a bit better. So as you can see, what we've done is taken that edge off that summer house, created the stilted hedge, so it now looks like more like a, an Edwardian garden, and we spun it round, so with the two box either side of the Lutian's bench, that links it all together now and creates a separate compartment. Okay, so well, maybe you might want to have a go at creating a stilted hedge. This, these cost about £450 for the three plus VAT. So it just gives you an idea of the, the sort of basic cost.